this morning I spent some time on the computer to look for masjids or ashrams in the USA before I went for the delivery shift. And I realized that just simply reading the website about the ashram or the monasteries, reading about the peace, the solace that they were offer to visitors or guests, has a kind of calming effect on me. So by the time I started the delivery shift, I kind of help. I kind of felt that I was a little bit calmer, calmer than than normal. And I kind of remind myself that every time I begin to mount on the bicycle, I would say shalom to myself, and as if to prime myself to remind myself to be alert. And when I dismount the bicycle, I would also remind myself to say shalom, meaning all is well, nothing broken, nothing missing. I'm well and whole and blessed and prosperous and protected and safe in every way. I think that helps me to stay mindful throughout the journey. Although I also had moments of、um, haste that got me into a little bit of accident when I bump into a car park entrance barrier and injured a bit my right hand. But I think it's so important to stay grounded, to stay alert. I think there's something significant about about Jesus' words.、Uh, watch, the Son of Man will appear when you don't expect it, because anything can change within with a thick twinkling of an eye. Anything can change. I might be cycling safely and be in full of confidence, and sometimes even cycling at a fast speed in order to、um, deliver food quickly. And I may even pride myself for being able to steer the bicycle so so well, so skillfully. But anything can change. If I am not mindful all the time. My attention may、uh, unexpectedly, no matter how alert I can be. But just one moment of、um, carelessness can result in a mishap, minor or major. And it's so important to always, always be mindful, to be alert. I think Jesus say, Jesus saying about being alert, being watchful.、Um, I think it applies to even safety. I don't think it really applies to a literal, literal second coming.、Uh, when he say watch, the sound of man will appear like lightning from the east to the west, and I think that might be true for the for that day and age. If we apply the context of audience relevance, he was speaking to the Jews, and the time reference it could be referring to the AD seventy events about Jerusalem. But I think also it has a timeless and、um, application that it can also apply to the modern age today. That when Jesus say watch. The Son of Man will appear. It can also refer it to、um, Jesus appearing in the form of a revelation in our heart, because Christ in us is the hope of glory. He, Christ is, is always in and around us,、uh, regardless of the age and time era that we live in. So I think he want us to always watch, 
um, how we live our life, how we carry our thoughts around us. Not so much as a um, a police or some condemning lawyer or judge who is out to catch us when we do wrong. I think it's more like the case of watch whether we are staying in grace, whether we are practicing self-love and self-care, whether we are practicing the blessed presence presence, living the present moment. So I think Jesus say watch to us is to remind us to practice mindfulness, to live in the present moment because there may be any time where we will encounter Jesus in any shape or form, any time, it can be a lesson that we learn from nature, that we learn from an encounter with somebody we meet, meet or a conversation we have with somebody, whether it's family, friends, or colleagues, or uh, coaches, mentors, uh, someone in the community, or teachers, and or strangers on the street. We never know that Christ, the teacher, would appear not to judge, not to condemn us, not to point finger or pinpoint and fault us for something that we forget to do, but um, graciously reminding us in a very gentle way that, hey, uh, we need to go back, you know, come back to ourselves, come home. He is reminding us to watch because we often forget to be mindful and we lose our way, we lose we we forget that we are already home. So he wants us to come home in that sense, to dwell in him, to dwell in the vine. The vine, you know, he said, abide in me and you will bear fruit. So he wants us to be fruitful always by abiding in him. It's not about heaven or hell. It's about the present moment, the experience that we are living in this world, in the here and now. So coming home, the parable of the lost son, I think is about, um, yes, it has the applications about the Jews and the Gentiles, about the, the legalistic uh, Pharisees has the elder brother and the younger son is the, the, the lost sheep, the lost coin and the lost son. I think it's also applicable in the sense that it's, uh, Today is applicable today that when, whenever we remind ourselves to come home, to, to go back, to come back to the present moment, that is the time where we relate ourselves, we relate to the, the prodigal son coming home and being welcomed and embraced by the father. Similarly, when we remind ourselves to come home to our inner self, to our true home, where our spirit, our soul dwells, to come home to the present moment, we will find ourselves being embraced and welcomed by the Father, who is a, a type, a archetype of our higher self. Our higher self welcomes us back to the present moment, which is our true home, which is transcends geographical location. Uh, our home is not earthly home. It's not made by hands. It is not an earthly building. Our true home is anywhere we are on planet Earth or anywhere else in the universe where we live in the present moment. That is our true home. That is coming home to the Father coming home to our true self, our real, authentic, divine self, divine identity, the present moment, to realize that we are already here and we will experience unconditional love and that elder brother in the parable could be referring to our flesh, our, the shadow side, 
that is legalistic that tell us that we don't deserve to be welcome when we come back home and we will find that our higher self the father will remind even our shadow that he is also part of the family the divine dance so i think it becomes so relevant and so beautiful when i think about this interpretation see whether you resonate with that interpretation or not but to me i was kind of blessed when i see it this way that yes the parable of the prodigal son is about coming home each and every one of us regardless of the era that we live in in is it apply to us in the here and now whenever we remind ourselves whenever we find ourselves wandering in the past into the past or into the future worry about the past or no regret about the past or worry about the future when we come back to the present moment we are like the prodigal son coming home and being embraced by our higher self by god within christ within is the hope of glory and that is for my revelation today and i hope that you are blessed even as i'm blessed sharing this bye and see you again